Hey friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I want to thank you for stopping by for a visit today. Whether it's your first time to visit with me or if you have been visiting with me for a while now, I appreciate you coming back and having another visit. So I do enjoy visiting with you all and I'm just happy that I'm here able to do that today. So today is 4th of July, Independence Day here in the U.S and um we are not doing anything special today actually um big daddy has been feeling pretty bad with his back so we're not doing anything to put any extra strain on him i want him to just take it easy and do whatever he needs to do to uh, relax <laughs> and not be in pain so i will be crocheting most of my day and i'm totally fine with that at some point we are going to go to Walmart to pick up a grocery order which is very much needed uh, we're out of a lot of things <laughs> so I had to put that in Phoebe girl so I had to put in um, you know a grocery order this morning and everything so we're gonna be going and picking that up and that's about all that we have planned today nothing nothing major and I'm okay with that. So you can look, tell me below what are your plans for today if you're in the U.S. and you're celebrating 4th of July. And if you're not in the U.S., just tell me what you're doing today in general, you know. <clears throat> Which it may just be another work day or work week, you know, for wherever you live. Oh, Phoebe. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, I have been on a little kick She's climbing up whether I wanted to do or not. <laughs> I have been on a little kick making cupcakes. And I'm having so much fun making these cupcakes. And coming up with um, different ways to decorate them and put my own touches and such on them. So I have this book, Whimsical Stitches. I have showed it before. This is a great little book. Very easy to follow instructions. Um, I'm not sure what it's going for nowadays on Amazon, but it is, um, it's worth the money, whatever they want for it. <laughs> Just give them your money. It's Whimsical Stitches, and it has tons of little, you know, um, little makes in here. It uses four wasted, four, number four wasted yarn, worsted weight yarn, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, it most things that I think in here call for a 4.25 hook, which they're calling it a G hook. I think my G hook just says four millimeter. Um, some safety eyes, polymer fill, a little darning needle. Uh, you can use some embroidery floss and needle if you want to. Felt if you want to. Um, stitch markers, fabric scissors, straight pins. Some things might call for a pipe cleaner, but I don't think I've ever come across anything. But anyway, it is so much stuff in here. The little sections they have is in the garden, in the aquarium, down on the farm, at the market, and at the bakery. So that is where I got my cupcake pattern from, and I'm enjoying making these cupcakes. I've, all, I've said this before, but I'll go ahead and say it again in case it's your first time to see one of these videos. <laughs> I bought this book way before I even started crocheting. So, um, yeah, it's a good book. <laughs> Okay, so this book has patterns for a smaller cupcake and a larger cupcake, and they call it a regular size and a jumbo size. So, um, but if you have any kind of book that has like lots of little makes like in there, and it has like a food section, check and see it may have cupcakes. So anyway, um, I was watching Manic Mama Musings, and she is having a make-along for making red, white, and blue items. Um, I can't remember if she called it a special name, but I am going to link her video in the description box below. So I'd appreciate it if you would check out her video and see if you might want to join in on her red, white, and blue make-along. And... Um, so I watched her video, and I thought, I'm going to make some red, white, and blue. And then I was already making a cupcake at the time. I was making a strawberry cupcake that I showed in the last video. And so I was like, just thinking about how I could make a red, white, and blue cupcake <laughs> well, as I was doing that. And so that's what I did. When I finished that one, I just 
my yarn was already laid out and I just started a, a 4th of July cupcake, if you will. So here we go with my 4th of July cupcake. So you want to see it, Phoebe? You like it? What? <laughs> so here's my 4th of July cupcake. I um, just did the bottom in red, and as I come up the side, I did red and white striped, so it would look like, um, you know, a cupcake paper, whatever, around it. And then I put blue icing, and then I put a little white star at the top. Excuse me. I have made these stars a lot of times. Um, one Christmas, I made a bunch of them to go on a little Christmas tree. I made a bunch of yellow ones to go on a Christmas tree, and I've made them in different colors for different things over time, you know. So I already knew how to make this, but you can Google how to make a star, and I, I, oh, I, I can't remember the channel's name, but I can link it below. And also, Stringy Ding Ding put out a pattern yesterday for this star. Same exact star. It looks exactly the same. So, I did put some little uh, pink cheeks on my star. But, um, yeah, so I will link those below. I will link um, Man at Mama Musing for her red, white, and blue make alone. I will link the YouTube channel where I originally got that star from a couple years ago. And then I will link Stringy Ding Ding's written pattern for the star that she just put out yesterday. So anyway, that's what I did. And I put the little star on a pin and stuck him in there so he could be taken off and put on something else or, you know, whatever. I'm really having fun um, just making up these little um, cupcakes and just adding my own little touches and decorating them and stuff like that, you know. And I have some more already in the makes. I have some of the larger size cupcakes going. And um, I will see yawns and yawns and yawns when we get on the camera. <laughs> Does this make you sleepy? Maybe I'm putting her to sleep. Am I putting y'all to sleep? I hope not. <laughs> so, anyway, I have some of the, what they call the jumbo size which is a you know a little bit bigger than this one. Well, it's a good size, a little bit bigger. Um, I'm putting, I'm making some of those and adding some special touches to them that I'm excited about, and I can't wait to see them finished and show you on camera here how they turn out. Anyway, so on this cupcake, I did use a size G hook for the whole thing from the bottom of the cupcake all the way up to the star. I used Mainstay Red and I used Craft Smart White and then I used Craft Smart Light Blue and then back to the Craft Smart White for the little star. So that's what I used for this. Now if you have a yarn that is what you would call a scratchy stiff yarn or something like that um, I know a lot of people feel that way about Red Heart. So um, the stiffer the yarn, probably the better it would be to make these. Although Mainstay is not stiff um, by any means. And I did use that. And so it, it worked out fine using a softer yarn. But I just think, um, you know, stiffer yarn would, would be a little bit better <laughs> to, um, you know, make them... Um, um, firm. Firm is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, guys, so, y'all, that's all I got for you today is <clears throat> my little 4th of July cupcake. I do want to remind you that I put out a video for the puppy parade, dog parade. I don't know why, I don't know what I'm calling it. <laughs> dog puppy parade. Phoebe and I did a video on that. Um, might have been Sunday morning, yesterday morning, I believe. So there is a video on that, and you have plenty of time to make your um, item. If you want to make a, a dog to put in the puppy parade, I will not be accepting pictures for that until this the week of 17th through 23rd, and I will do another video on that on Sunday, July the 17th. So don't send pictures before then. 
not accepting pictures now. I won't accept pictures until that week. And I will do another video saying, send your pictures. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, I guess Phoebe and I can let you all get going so you can go on and enjoy your fourth, whatever your plans are. But yeah, let us know. Let us know what you're doing this week. What are you doing today? Huh? How are you celebrating your 4th of July? Or your little spoiled life, huh? <laughs> she just loves it when I talk to her. <laughs> so anyway, guys, yeah, I'll let you get going. <laughs> we will see you all again in the next video. Bye, friends.